Okay, Warriors for Freedom. Good morning again. This is True Confessions Friday. Quickly, it's a time when I, by example, draw from my sexual moral inventory, from my recovery inventory, and I share with men and give an example of how they can contact each other and share something vulnerable from their lives, something from that they struggle with or have struggled with and God has delivered them from what they're currently going through. And I encourage you men today to take a minute and call a friend and call somebody, Warriors for Freedom, addicts out there, call somebody and confess. Confession is good for the soul and it heals us and it brings um, us out of the secrecy, out of the closet, out of the hiding. So today, for my True Confessions Friday, because I demonstrated by example, okay, um, I'm going to confess today um, that I, I've been married three times. And in the middle of my marriages, there was always one consistent thing. And this one is going to be about money. Because as an addict, I needed money set aside for the strip clubs, money set aside um, for going to the movies and X-rated movies, money, money set aside for partying and things like that. In all of my relationships, I, I no woman has ever known the exact amount of money I made until my wife now, which is my third wife. Okay, and now my fear was always that if they know how much money I had, all the money will be spent and there'll be nothing left for me for my on the side stuff that I need to do. And you know, man, you know what we do. Okay, so nobody knows the exact amount, so I always had a special stash of money that I needed in case of a, a, an addiction emergency. Let's call it that. So I confess that that was something that was a part of my life, and that secret was always something that led me down the road of addiction. So I want to confess to you today that I, no one, I never confessed to everybody or shared with any of my relationships to wives all the amount of money that I made so I had extra money to get myself into sexual problems and trials at the time I thought it was my 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 right and so today I confess to you today that I was dishonest that I was a liar and that I was selfish in the middle of my addiction and because of that I withheld information from those that I, I purported that I loved and cared about so I confess to you today and I confess to God and I ask him for forgiveness for this area of my life where I was dishonest where I was lying where I was deceptive and as a result the enemy had this stronghold in my life where he at any time when temptation took a hold of me and when I was triggered and I felt I needed a release I could always find some pornographic situation some relationship something that I could hold on to that I could use to fulfill the sexual need in my life that was just basically a way to anesthetize the pain so man I confess that to you today I confess that it's an open today and God has delivered me and he has forgiven me and he washed me and cleansed me from all of that today so I no longer hide and I no longer live in shame I am free because Jesus set me free so I encourage you today to call somebody, to find a confidant, to find an accountability partner and confess something that you haven't confessed to somebody else. And I always say, five people in this world should know everything about you. There should be nothing secret and nothing that gives the enemy a legal right to tempt you and to entice you away. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now. Bless my words for freedom out there today, that they will walk in purity and that they will confess our sins one to another so that we may go free and have the blessing that God has for us. Have a fantastic day. And I think this shorter than five minutes because all my groups, they say, hey, it can't be longer than five minutes. So I want you to know that True Confessions Friday is something I do every Friday. Look forward to it and be a blessing to someone else and they'll bless you. I'm over and out. Have a fantastic Friday. God bless. Bye-bye, ciao.